Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the channel. As you can see we're at Granny's, we're at the workshop, but in this video we are not going to be staying at the workshop. As you can see we've got the massive mahoosive hunk of a trailer here. We're off on a road trip. So, saddle up, where are we going? We're just coming up to Ashford now, up to the Burger King roundabout, as we call it. The big old bridge. Now, with the trailer, this time, yes, we have got a trailer. Um, so, yeah, in the comments, don't skip forward and see what it is in the comments. Try and have a guess what we're picking up. Well, it's got to be big and heavy, otherwise, we wouldn't have a trailer. So, try and have a guess of that. We seem to be in a little bit of a muddle. We've got ourselves in a. I don't know if there's an accident or the construction or whatever, but certainly it's epic dram. It's added on about 17 minutes. So, hi -ho. But we're moving. Not very fast, about, I don't know, 10-ish, 7-ish miles per hour, but we're moving nonetheless. We're moving again! Yes! It's taking there for about a minute. We should get there about 11 o'clock, hopefully. Yes. And where is it? Dunbridge. Dunbridge! We're going to Dunbridge. That should be nice and fun. Right, we're getting, getting really close now, we've got about 2.5 miles-ish. Roughly, in close now. Nice little village actually, they've just gone through. Uh, still quite nice houses. Yeah. It's about two miles now. be one of the longest driveways I've ever seen. Ah, hello, there it is. Take your last guesses on what's, what it's going to be. We'll see you in a minute. We're just coming out of the farm that we um, bought the thing from, and we just found something that looks older than the tea fairy. <laughs> lovely old little combine harvester. Yeah. It's a nice place, this, isn't it? Beautiful. Little yeah, mill pond. Yeah, we'll try and park up somewhere and then we shall show you what this is and see if you are right. Right, so we just parked up and the thing we've got, drum roll please, is that. It is a mightily big, get off, go back. This is a mightily big, monstrous hunk of a chunk of pillage and it is massive. It weighs 950 billion tons in the motor alone. 
The rest of it weighs a bit more. <laughs> See, it's good. It's got auto feed. It's got all the neat tips and tricks that you can have, and it's just plain cast iron. It's huge. It's massive. Although it's got a plastic cover that they put on, which we're going to take off when we get home. But yeah, this is what we got. Fifty pounds. And this is verily mighty. Yes, we'll probably see you either at Ashford or at home. We're just coming through this really nice town, so beautiful houses. Sorry about the shaking. Most of you are probably getting a bit seasick. So as you can see we have now got back home, we've disassembled nearly the whole thing, we didn't disassemble that but we took apart all that, shifted it down, a lot easier than just taking the whole thing in one piece down. Sorry we didn't film that, one we didn't really think two and two would just be a little bit extra added stress that wasn't really needed, so glad we got all that down. Um, it didn't take too long, the bolts were amazing, they came off so easily, considering how old it is, 100 plus years old, you're absolutely amazing. So yes, yeah. thank you to Colin for this, I didn't give it to me, bought it off eBay for £50, um, down in Tunbridge, we've got a piece that needs to be welded on, if not then oh, reforged, don't know how I'm going to do that, but always give it a go, got a few lot of bits in there, it's, it's um, auto fed as well you could do it manually um, you could do it auto fed the table is in there the um the arm that holds the table is there the uh what's that uh, that's the um flywheel and that's the um foot or feet whatever you call it see so, yeah, the belt goes along there down to the flywheel which goes down there somewhere that's the um motor obviously but we can't use it um can't remember why uh there's something about the powering system or something um so yeah awesome bit of kit so simple um it literally took us about i don't know it took to undo one two three four bolts to get that that and that all off at once it was absolutely brilliant um so yeah and it is about seven foot tall so it's taller than me by far and it is completely made out of cast iron so it just makes it unnecessarily heavy but it is awesome and it runs nice and slowly so it doesn't overheat the tip um so yeah it is all good. Um, there's two speeds as well. The auto feed. Um, you got the. Uh, don't know if it was, There you go. Go that way. So that's one speed. That's another speed. That's just neutral, really. Or oh, manual. So you got two speeds on it. It's auto fed. Or, or manual fed, if you want it to be. Um, but when we get it all assembled and shifted down to the workshop over there, then um, we shall. Um, give you a run through on how it works because this is an awesomely interesting bit of kit um 
I think when we get the workshop cleared out, we'll definitely do a video of. Uh, I I keep saying this. I will. When the workshop gets cleared out, we will do a workshop tour, and I will explain all the equipment and tools and such. Um, I think that'd be quite an interesting video. So yes, and that is everything. Lots of cast iron, lots of metal, lots of hunk and chunkiness, lots of awesomeness, and not a lot of money. So that's all good. That'll be it for this video. Thank you so so much for watching. Um, the road trip part wasn't so interesting. I'll probably admit that, but um, I'm sorry you couldn't see us shifting this part about. But um, you've seen it. It's pretty cool, I think. Um, for fifty pounds, an absolute bargain antique pillar drill. Um, so yeah, it'll be um, awesome. We'll get it shifted down piece by piece. And the plan is, I'm going to bring a piece down, clean it up, um, and then. We'll just keep bringing them down, up and down, up and down, um, uh, until it all of a sudden we'll start from the bottom and going up to the top. Um, yeah, it'll be good. That'll be a good video. So yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um, comment what you liked. Please like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't done. Please turn on notifications so you don't miss out any new videos. <laughs> Getting good at that part. Um, and yeah, I hope you have a good day, good night, wherever you are, and bye-bye.